Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Folks, Americans are quitting nationwide. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the geography of the Great Resignation and new data shows where Americans are actually quitting the most across the country. Welcome to our channel everyone. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please click like, please click subscribe and enable notifications. Here's the headline of an article on your screen from the Washington Post, the geography of the Great Resignation. First time data is actually showing us where Americans are quitting the most. In fact, let's take a look at this image on your screen from the Washington Post. And this is based on data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And this is from the Washington Post. This chart shows us that Georgia, Kentucky and Idaho are leading the nation in workers quitting jobs. In fact, the number of workers who quit their jobs in August 2021 divided by total employment is shown here. The darker the color the greater the number of individuals quitting their jobs. Now, you'll see in certain states like New York, Pennsylvania, and Washington, not that many workers are quitting. But in certain states like Idaho, Kentucky, Georgia, also if we take a look at Illinois, Indiana, you'll start to see that a lot of workers are starting to quit in these states. In fact, the largest increase in the number of workers quitting happened in Georgia with 35,000 workers leaving their jobs in the past few weeks. This is just incredible. Overall, the states with the highest number of workers who are quitting were Georgia, Kentucky, and Idaho. Now, the report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics actually paints a definitive picture of the American economy because a historic number of people are leaving their jobs and there is a record number of job openings and this tells us that workers have a lot of leverage in this new economy. According to Ben Ayers, who's a senior economist at Nationwide, it is a sign of health that there are many companies that are looking for work. That's a great sign. The downside is that many workers are not coming back. In the long term, you cannot sustain a labor market as tight as it is now. According to Nick Bunker, who's an economist at Indeed, he said it was very notable that rural areas had the highest rates of people quitting jobs. He said this, service sector jobs tend to be concentrated in more dense urban parts of the country. So to see people quitting in other areas was interesting. And he said that may be a sign there's more competition in those parts of the country than other parts. Now, folks, as the Delta variant impacted the country in August, I can tell you that states with new infections saw job markets that were extremely active. In other words, more and more jobs were available as the pandemic was surging, as Delta was surging. What happened was that employees quit their jobs because they didn't want to be face to face with customers, especially in service sector jobs like retail and like hospitality, like restaurants. But employees quit or they were hired at rates matching or exceeding the national average in 10 states with the highest rate of new infections with the Delta variant in the month of August. These states were Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Oklahoma, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Now, folks, now I want our viewers to know that, and by the way, I have done other videos on our channel discussing this, 4.3 million people quit their jobs in the month of August. That's about 3% of the workforce. Now, why is all of this happening, folks? This entire phenomenon is happening because workers are refusing to accept inconvenient hours and low wages. And they are leaving their jobs to find other opportunities. In fact, there were 10.4 million job openings at the end of August. And this tells us that a significant, significant number of jobs are still going unfilled. Now, this gives workers enormous leverage about where they can work because people do indeed have choices. In fact, a lot of people are having more than one job offer. But on the other hand, folks, there are two sides to this because the knife cuts both ways. On the other hand, there are individuals who simply can't even get back the jobs that they want. So again, the knife does cut both ways. And this is a very, very complex situation. You, The best thing you can do is try and apply for jobs. And then hopefully, you'll be in a position where you get more than one job and you can pick and choose the job that makes the most sense for you. 
my recommendation to our viewers and subscribers would be once you're ready to get back out there once you're ready to start working again apply for more than one job apply for different jobs try and also enhance your skills so that you are in a position to essentially be more valuable to employers or potentially even start your own business at the end of the day i think if you can improve your own skills you can improve your own decision making capabilities you now become an invaluable part of what i call the new american workforce now the great resignation is definitely impacting millions of our fellow americans and employers but folks at the end of the day we are americans we want to work we're pretty good at what we do we're super intelligent and we're we're extremely extremely hard working and i think at the end of the day i believe all of us can and will get back on our feet but but it's not going to happen if we just sit back passively waiting for things to happen it's going to happen when we seize the initiative when we improve our own skills when we decide that we want to do what works best for us and when we work with employers who respect us for what we do who pay us fair wages and who give us the flexibility and the respect that's needed in a good safe productive workplace because that at the end of the day is what the american dream is all about please click the like button please click subscribe please enable notifications let me know in the comment section below what you think of this episode of ignition time specifically all the states where we are seeing a great number of individuals quitting where we are seeing a great degree of what i call the great resignation at the end of the day folks i think life will get back to normal in fact life is gradually getting back to normal which is a good thing i believe we will make our way back in in many cases we have made our way back but i think for those of us who are still unemployed or for those of us who are juggling juggling multiple jobs or looking looking into multiple jobs i think now is a time for us to stand up to be recognized and to seize the opportunity and to get back out into the workforce my number one advice for anyone thinking of getting back into the workforce is ask yourself what can you do to improve your skills what can you do to improve your decision making is it reading books is it watching youtube videos is it attending different online training programs is it networking with other people is it is it essentially watching free educational material online so that you can become much more knowledgeable about anything whether it's stock market or whether it's day trading whether it's hey whether you, whether it's being a handyman there's so much free information available online that all you have to do is set aside the time take the initiative and enhance your skills and i know all of us are smart enough are hard working enough to be able to achieve a higher level of skill and eventually find the job that works best for us please click like please click subscribe please enable notifications thank you so much for watching a lot of effort goes into these videos so please support the channel by clicking like by clicking subscribe and if you're not a member of our community yet just click that subscribe button and don't forget to enable notifications so that you get the latest updates from ignition time thank you so much i'll see you in the next episode of ignition time take care bye